Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another flip through. Whew, I do believe, sorry, there's the chair. I do believe that this is flip through number 113 already. So yeah, this is December of 2017. And this is the ending of my third year doing the Fobonichi. So let's get started, shall we? Um, yeah, this is back in December, and now here we are, uh, the middle of February 2018, so I'm gonna have to try to remember what, what all went on. <laughs> and during this month, um, and, uh, whoa, and the subsequent months, let me fix that real fast, uh, I have really gone to a more simplified page, whoops, because I've been trying to work on other projects. So, you know, I still, obviously, I want to still do my Fobonichi. I love my Fobonichi. I am very passionate about journaling. If you couldn't tell from my previous 110 flip throughs. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm still continuing to, continuing, sorry, to do it. It's just that I'm doing it more um, simplified, not the colorful hot mess. So, Let's get going already. All right, so woke with a screaming migraine, lovely. Okay, I'm not gonna read all this because you all can probably read it for yourselves, but um, yeah, so let's see. Oh, this day was a Saturday, so we were meant to get our Christmas tree this day, but we didn't. We couldn't for some reason. Oh, Big Handsome had to work. Okay, so yeah. Oh, and then I tackled the family Christmas cards. And you know, it's such a shame that not a lot of people do Christmas cards anymore. I don't know. I've done them for, you know, 26 years. And I always, I send out anywhere. Well, now it's dwindled, you know, over the years. But I used to send out between 80 and 100 cards a year. And um, yeah, that's just dwindled over the years. Now I send out about, you know, anywhere between 60 and 80, I guess. But yeah, so anyway. And then what I do with my cards when I do get them is this is a, a book that I made. I made it simply out of a cracker box, you know? Use some Dollar Tree washi tape. I'm sure I've shown you this. That needs to be glued down. Um, I put two signatures in it, as you can tell from the top, and then I just used random Christmas paper that I wasn't using anymore and made the signatures. And then in on the inside, I just, this is our family Christmas photo, but I just stick everybody's, you know, card, glue it right onto the page itself. And then in here is our family Christmas letter that I just made a little tuck spot for or a little pocket using our Christmas cards. So that's what I do every year. I love keeping everybody's Christmas cards. I love seeing how things have changed over the years and all that. So anyway, yeah. So not a lot of people send cards anymore and, and it is really sad. I get, you know, I blame it on social media, you know, because everyone's got a Facebook and well, not everyone, but you know what I'm saying. And, you know, or they have Instagram or they have this or they have that, you know, and email and whatever. And so people just correspond that way. So, yeah. Uh, going are the ways of written correspondence. So that's terrible. But anyhow. Okay. So we woke up to a freezing 50 degrees. <laughs> and I know you poor people in the north that are dealing with so much snow still in February. But yeah, 50 degrees is pretty darn cold for here. So uh, we live, you know, in the in South Florida. So it's it's a tropical climate. So we're used to hot and humid. Um, oh yeah, I had to break out my down comforter. <laughs> so that's how cold it was. Um, yeah. So I had a full blown headache this day, but we did go out and get our tree. And oh yeah, this past year they were really slim pickings. Like they all looked really sad and nearly dead. And I think by the time Christmas came around and we only got it like what, two and a half weeks before Christmas, it was like, it was, it was crispy. All right. I'll just tell you that it was pretty darn crispy. So yeah, that was that day. Then this was Monday, woke up to chilly weather again. Yuck. I do not like wearing sweats. I do not like wearing socks. 
So yeah, I don't like that. <clears throat> oh yeah, and then I was annoyed this day because I took um, my sunshine to go get his blood work and his thyroid um, and they were backed up, right? The doctor's office was backed up. So I think they called me and said, oh, come in 45 minutes later. And so we did that. And then we still ended up waiting. Like I only waited an hour and then I just went up and, uh, and said, look, just give me a copy of the results we're leaving. So that's what we did. I, I, not that I'm a doctor, but I, I, I've been to the doctor enough times and had enough lab reports that, you know, I looked over his lab reports there was nothing, you know, shattering on there, so he'll be fine. Um, I think, I hope. <laughs> um, anyway, so then we did, uh, we trimmed the tree this night, and yeah, let's see. Oh, and the gems and I stayed up late gabbing on the patio. I'm fairly certain my daughter's boyfriend was over this night too to do the tree trimming. And then this day here was a lovely day because no malignancy. Now, let me let me think. I had had surgery. I had a bout with, um, you know, skin cancer again, although um, it was not, it was precancerous, right? So in my case, they do not simply burn it off or anything like that. They actually have to do, you know, perform a surgery and uh, take, you know, take chunk out. And so they did that. It was like right smack on my chest, of course. Um, so yeah, I have an inch and a half new scar for that, but that's a small price to pay. I'll take scars all day long, as long as they call me back and with no malignancy. So I was very happy about that. Um, I don't know if y'all remember or, you know, when was it last, last year in October, I did, I was diagnosed with uh, malignant melanoma. So uh, yeah, that left me with a two and a half inch scar on my face. Uh, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, there's Fred, he says, good morning. Okay, so yeah, same old, same old. Uh, began sending out some of my holiday postcards, if you remember, I don't know where they, oh, there they are. These little guys here, I had made for um, some of my Facebook friends, so sent those out, began sending some of them out. And, uh, let's see, wait a second here. What's going on here? Cause I set this in here. I popped outside to collect the mail and had a letter from the derm office, the dermatologist's office. My biopsies had been over a month ago. Oh, okay. Well, it did, the whole thing did end up turning out to be non-malignant, but I didn't have the surgery here. I just had had biopsies and then I got a letter in the mail, which nobody ever wants to see. Dr. Wiltz needs to see you as soon as possible. Uh, so of course, you know, your mind runs wild and everything. In the end, it all turned out wonderfully, praise the Lord. Um, but this was before I actually had my surgery. Th this was uh, in, in relationship to the biopsies I had had on two different spots. So then I received this lovely tag. I mean, is that not gorgeous or what? This is just like ribbon or seam binding here stitched on. Um, and it's like a grungy tag. This is from Jerry Bellini. And it was for my birthday. So yeah, happy birthday to me. She sent me a whole load. Um, I'm sure you remember from a previous ramble session or flip through, she had sent me, or something, she had sent me um, a stack of a beautiful vintage blue fabric. And then she was giving a class on Skillshare to make ratty rag rugs. She also sent me the crochet hook as well because it's a big fat honking crochet hook and so I began my ratty rug and I have of course it's been months I've finished it it is sitting beautifully in my bungalow so these are the little tags that she gives out every time she sends a parcel from her Etsy store and she does sell the bundles of fabric in her Etsy store so I'll put all the links below make sure you go over and check her out and here's her little note on a coffee stained um what is this called? Coffee stain, coffee filter. Ah, so sweet of her. So that was, that was a lot of fun. Okay, let's see here. Okay, and then this, this was like so funny. <laughs> oh gosh. 
my friend is hilarious and I love that she's my friend. She's my crafty bestie and she comes over here a couple times a year and we work on projects together and so she was coming over to she always makes a big deal out of my birthday which is just so sweet of her you know she brings lunch over she um, brings me you know either cupcake I think this year it was um a piece of um carrot cake so yummy and then her card she is so hilarious happy birthday to my sweet friend and sister i hope we are friends until we die and then we can be ghost friends we can walk through walls and scare the bleep out of people <laughs> i love you oh my gosh oh she is so hilarious and i love our friendship and one of the things that she uh, that she got for me which was so sweet was this punch and it's like a flower punch you know it punches the little leaves out it has the two different punches for the flowers and it's really cute so i loved it and then um i don't even know if we crafted this day yeah i made her favorite chai tea and um straightened up the craft room but i don't know oh we were oh okay we had began begun began whatever uh making our little golden book uh christmas journals so yeah yeah so that that was so much such a fun day such a fun day i always love when she comes over so um she's just such a fun person okay then on this day was a thursday filming filming and more filming isn't that funny oh no today's friday i was gonna say isn't it funny today's thursday and i'm filming 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 again but no not the case anyway okay um so yeah it's still chilly out coffee on the patio it was thursday regular stuff finishing up my holiday postcards and sending them out um working on my grandma's calendar if y'all remember from another video of mine um i do a calendar for my grandmother of all of the family's birthdays anniversaries everything so i was finishing that up and i was almost done yay uh it takes me about a week to do it um i wasn't feeling all too creative so yeah so i started catching up on flip throughs and uh Oh my goodness. Yeah, that day I filmed six and I still wasn't done. And then uploading, I was like uploading all day. And yeah, I thought my computer was going to start smoking. <laughs> oh golly. So then, oh no. Okay. So I was filming this day and probably uploading them to my computer. And then on this day, I was uploading them to um, YouTube. So that's kind of how like I do it. Like I film it, I then put it on my computer and then I upload them all to YouTube, set them all on private, and then when I want to go back in and you know it's time to put up another video or whatever the case is, I just click public and zoom off it goes. So that's how that works. Um, <clears throat> excuse me again. Uh, yeah, sending off the last of my postcards, still not be feeling very creative. Um, Oh my goodness, yeah, I had ended up filming nine videos, so I uploaded all nine to YouTube, I guess. Holy cow. And then, oh yeah, that's why I was doing it too, because we were going to be down south for two weeks, and the internet down there is really slow, so that's why I like to have them all on my YouTube channel set to private, so that whenever I want to put a video up, I just click one button, and, um, and it's done. So... Let's see, so this was a Friday. He, uh, Big Handsome had a late meeting, so we just stayed home. And we were watching Game of Thrones, which at first I didn't like, and then I really got into it. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Then this right here was like something really super cool. Um, I think I probably showed it in a ramble session too. Oh, there's my ratty rug, if you can see that. I had just started it. Um, so yeah, we had gotten this, uh, letter in the mail and I was actually going to throw it away. Apparently my husband gets like these points from whatever hotel chain his business, you know, my, where my husband works deals with. Um, so we collect these points throughout the year or whatever. And so this year I was able to order six magazines for free yearly subscriptions to magazines for free so yeah so excited about that that was like an early christmas present so that was nice um 
let's see yeah and that's pretty much it I'll stop on these pages so this was like a pink and pink and blue day uh, yeah so it was a fairly lazy day it was Sunday I did spend some time in my craft room because Big Handsome was cooking and stuff caught up on five pages um, and it was just a you know a lazy day these are just magazine clipping stickers magazine clippings this is actually from a real estate like a realtor sends us calendars every year and so this came that's what that came from junk mail and here's my sweet sunshine we were making our traditional almond roca so that was fun and this was on a Monday and here I just put the recipe on the back and then yeah just like a regular Monday you know got up had my coffee on the patio called grandma started the laundry um, yeah and then I needed to write my uh, my husband's aunt Ellie back because she had asked about journaling and what I meant by making um, making books and making journals and all that so I wanted to make sure to write her back and answer her questions and then I had received some lovely lovely happy mail from Tracy and Rosie and Perrette so that was very sweet and yeah we had soup for dinner and we're still watching Game of Thrones so that's it for this flip through and I will catch you later on another video have a great day bye